All right, this is going to be a really quick to attempt to show how to uh, set up the library in Kodi uh, so that your movies and TV shows show up on this home, home screen right here um, and look really nice. So first things first, we highlight videos and then go to files, open it, and then our only option is to add videos, so we'll go ahead and do that. Next, we navigate over to Browse, open that. Uh, and finally, we go to wherever the source of our videos are. Um, and this can be all kinds of different places, depending on where you have them set up personally. They could be on your C drive or one of your other local folders set up connected to your computer. They might be on a network file system share. Uh, or, as they are for me, they're in a Windows network share. Uh, now... Um, for whatever reason, I have difficulty actually accessing this, the computer that's on my Windows network. So I've gone to Add Network Location and manually entered the name of my computer that's sharing all of these files, which is xbmc-nate. So all you have to do to do that is go to server name, type in the name of your server, um, and then click OK. Uh, I've already done that, though, so here it is. You open it. Here is the list of folders that I have shared. I'm going to go to uh, first. I'm going to do movies, um, and then I'm going to select OK. Now, if you saw what I did there, I went to the folder, I opened it, and then I selected OK. So, th the most important thing is when you go to the folder once you've opened it and before you select OK you should see the list of movies in front of you if you don't see that list of movies then you're not you haven't navigated to the right folder so for example you if you have a folder that says movies and then and then you open it and the list is comedy drama whatever and you've navigated just to the next level of folders that doesn't actually contain movies in it that's not as far as you need to go you need to open the comedies folder and then that should list all your movies and that's as good that's as deep as you need to go so you select OK then you OK again uh, this is the set content uh, window to in, in this window you need to change the name of the the type of content so, so this says this directory contains none we need to switch it to movies uh, we don't really need to worry about the scraper if you're doing some more advanced things you might need to worry about that but most people don't need to worry about it so we're going to skip that uh, and then finally movies are in separate folders that match the movie title for me this is correct some people just put all their movies in one big folder I like to keep them separate in folders so so I have to check that um, then I select OK do I want to refresh info for all items yes uh, it'll clean the database and then it'll import all of your movies and that goes pretty quickly while it's doing that we'll go ahead and add the rest of uh, my content so once again we browse go to my server this time we're gonna add television shows once again you want to get to a point where you can see all your TV shows but you don't want to actually open any of them select OK uh, it doesn't really matter what you name this source I I've named the folder television so it auto populated the name television uh, you can stick with that or, or not it's all entirely up to you it doesn't really matter as far as Cody's concerned so we select OK this time we set the content to TV shows um, and this folder contains a whole lot of TV shows so we don't want to select this option if you did though if for example you were just adding a folder that only had friends in it the TV show friends um, then you would select this you, you would select the option that says this folder contains a single TV show uh, if it has more than one though definitely don't touch that finally you click OK and once again yes I want to refresh info for all it'll clean up the library again and then it'll begin adding your TV shows. Uh, so there we go. We have our two folders. We're still in file menu mode, uh, but it's already doing a good job kind of showing everything off. So we'll back out of this, uh, and here we are back on the home screen, and it's added all of our shows. Um, needless to say, it's still scanning, as you should be able to see up at the top of the screen. So once it's finished, all my TV shows will be added. All the movies have already been added, though and there they are looking pretty great uh... so that's how to set up your library really quickly in cody thanks